I'm Tony, and I have progressive supranuclear palsy. Follow me on my journey. Tony, it's time to take your pills. Uh, my hand is frozen. I okay. can't get my pills out. Okay, remember what the occupational therapist said. Turn your hand over and it'll automatically open for you. Today we're going to talk about movement problems and some possible solutions. Tony will talk about movement problems with his perspective and then I'll be back later to talk about some possible solutions. PSP affects the voluntary movement the centers of the brain. It's called the midbrain which is located on the brain stem. The uh, brain stem is, uh, can be likened to uh, the central processing area of the brain. Uh, everything comes in and goes through it. That includes your uh, breathing, your heart rate, your uh, memories. Everything goes through it. Uh, the voluntary uh, movement centers are located in the midbrain, which is the top of the brainstem. The uh, midbrain is uh, responsible uh, for your eye movements. Uh, the in information uh, retrieval and storage. Uh, it's responsible uh, for rerouting that for your thinking. It processes the visual signals through your eyes. Uh, and it also coordinates uh, muscle movement and pain suppression. We know that uh, some uh, patients don't experience pain the same way that part has been damaged. Uh, with the eye movement, you're going to have... Uh, the gaze palsy, the upwards and down. You're going to experience a double vision. You, with the eyes, you also have eyelid closures and blinking. The eyelid closures may close and be hard to open. Occasionally you will see me do this. That's because I'm pushing an eyelid up. Uh, that is called blepharospasm. Uh, uh, the blinking uh, gets slow and we can get dry eyes. The dry eyes uh, will manifest itself as tears. I know it sounds counterintuitive, uh, but the tears come because the eyes are dried out. Uh, you'll need to... Uh, so remedy that. Uh, with your muscle movement, uh, uh, you have the muscles in your uh, throat. As you can tell, I slur my words a lot because my muscles don't uh, work well in my mouth or my throat. And uh, later, I mean, I already have some, but later I expect to have more and more swallow problems, which is extremely common. Uh, uh, 
uh, symptom with uh, uh, PSP. Uh, my muscles are slow. You probably been to the doctor and they were moving your arms around. They were looking at how easily uh, your arms and legs move. That it tells them the rigidity. Uh, as your muscles are uh, not being able to be controlled, they become more and more rigid. Uh, the uh, hand movement, which we showed earlier, uh, uh, actually happens too. You get gait freezing on your legs, and you get the same kind of can get the same kind of freezing on your grip. Uh, the uh, demonstration we did earlier is it was based on truthfully what the occupational therapist told me and what happened. And it was pills all over the floor. Uh, she was correct that this generally opens up the hand, relaxes these muscles here and opens up the hand. But what happens if you're holding something vertically? You can't do that. The occupational therapist was okay, but she didn't realize that what we have in our hand, we may not need to let go and have it fall. Uh, uh, so you have to uh, take each one of those uh, things with a grain of salt. My hands generally freeze when I'm holding. They are even frozen now. It generally <laughs> freeze when I'm... Uh, uh, just a moment. Okay, it generally freezes and it takes a few seconds of me trying to clear my mind and stuff uh, to get it to open up, uh, but it does it holding on to vertical things. Uh, as a side story, my neighbors once heard me uh, leaving the house. My wife was a couple of steps ahead and I was had my cane in the right hand and the door frame in the left, and the, my hand wouldn't let go of the door frame. And I uh, uh, finally turned to my hand, and, my, uh, and I shouted at my hand. I said, let go of the blank door. And my neighbors across the street, they were hearing it, and they were laughing because my hand would not let go. Uh, it, it just takes time. And the more frustrated that I got, the longer it wanted to go. Uh, but even though I know that right now, sitting here talking to you, in the moment, I don't remember that. Uh, so I get frustrated and yeah, tell it to let go. Injuries such as PSP uh, can impact uh, a person's uh, personality uh, and uh, their memory. The memory that's uh, generally affected is not like Alzheimer's, which is at the top part of your head. Uh, down here, it is the executive function uh, memory. Uh, the injuries for PSP can also paralyze the various body parts. That's really the name for palsy, is uh, paralysis. Uh, 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 unable to control something uh, normally uh, on your body. Uh, I mentioned that it can change the personality. It can make you think that a person is uh, angry all the time, or being stubborn, or uh, uh, all the time crying, or uh, various uh, things like that. Uh, and none of that is really true. Uh, and it doesn't always affect everybody. And those that it does affect, it doesn't always affect them the same way.
the uh, because of the brainstem uh, controls uh, a lot of your bodily functions, you will uh, uh, probably experience incontinence of the bladder, and sometimes the bowel, or both. Uh, uh, with that, you may not just have incontinence with the bowel and the bladder, you may also experience uh, retention uh, or constipation as it, as it were you your uh, functions can go uh, to where you don't know what's going on or uh, to where you know that nothing is going on and you know, uh, both of those are uh, difficult things that will have to be addressed uh, uh, but more than just the bowels and bladder, uh, other uh, bodily functions uh, can be impaired. That's why we have the swallow problem. It's muscles, but it's a normal bodily function that when you swallow, a little flap closes over your lungs. It, with PSP, that little flap can stay open or it can be slow to close. So food or liquid, and mucus, and phlegm can all go down into your lungs and cause pneumonia. After damage to the brain stem becomes extensive enough, the patient with PSP uh, can suffer, uh, basically suffer a locked in syndrome where there is still a fully uh, cognizant uh, but they can't communicate and they can barely move anything. At this point, the most uh, communication uh, centers around a minor hand and uh, finger movements like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, but the person that is locked in is still fully aware if you're talking about him instead of to him, he's going to know or she's going to know. And they won't be able to express anything if you totally ignore them for hours or days. They're going to know. You need to spend that time with them and knowing that they're locked in but can't uh, do much. Uh, they still need that love and support even though uh, uh, they're locked in. PSP is aggressive and relentless. The progression can't be stopped, but various treatments may slow the progression or temporarily relieve the symptoms. While surgeries and brainstem stimulation have not proved effective, some treatments have. Various therapies may slow the progression. PT or physical therapy and exercise help with muscle movement and rigidity. Speech therapy may help with speech and swallowing. A neuro... Neuro... Ophthalmologist. ophthalmologist may <laughs> prescribe prism glasses and the occupational therapy may provide some adjustment recommendations. Some of the devices that may help with life quality, quality of, life. of life would be canes, gate belts, um, the wheelchairs, um, scooters, things like that. Medicinal therapy such as Botox injections for rigidity, muscle contraction, or spasm. Medications may provide temporary relief from sleep problems, excessive mucus, and saliva, behavior problems, and pain. Some of the things that we've used is pineapple juice to help with the mucus, um, cranberry juice for um, urinary tract, to ward off urinary tract infections, melatonin for sleep, and the moisturizing eye drops for the eyes. We use the ones without the preservatives. 
Stay with us for the rest of a part of our journey. With The next one will be, I can't have dementia. And please remember to keep making memories.